Hey guys, how are you keeping? And welcome to Love Futsal, the YouTube channel dedicated to bringing you the best goalkeeper tips and videos. As part of a series I hope to do every week, I'm sharing some fantastic drills for you to learn from and to replicate at home. So be sure to subscribe if this is for you. Today I'm delighted to introduce Jackie Portinga of Tiger Goalkeeping Academy in Chicago, Illinois. The first drill we're watching concentrates on footwork primarily. Just with the use of a few cones, we can see Jackie practicing her lateral movements across the goal line. Notice she never crosses her feet, instead it's short, controlled and efficient side steps. Again, more footwork focused techniques kicking off this drill, utilizing some smaller hurdles. I've said it before, but this is the perfect drill to highlight this. If you practice your footwork, everything following becomes easier. Notice Jackie is in position to comfortably make the save. The handling aspect of the drill is secondary and should be straightforward if you move your feet and therefore body into position. The next drill practices a range of skill sets. Firstly, reaction speeds and fast hands as the tennis ball is dropped from behind you. Moving on to distribution and more specifically control, something that is important in both 11 aside and especially futsal goalkeeping. Notice they are practicing in what appears to be a squash court. This is a shining example of utilizing the facilities you have available to you, even if not traditional or ideal. Again, another primarily footwork focused drill for you to try at home. Perhaps this is the secret to why Jackie Portinga and the guys and girls at Tiger Goalkeeping Academy are so good. Next up, a terrific drill I adore for a number of reasons. It trains your ability to come out off your line at speed, whilst maintaining control and efficiency. This is then followed by a dive, either to your left or your right. Notice that the cones are not at a right angle, but instead are angled forward slightly. This encourages the keeper to maintain momentum and dive forward as they come out, something that's often beneficial in closing the angle that the striker has to score from. This drill is super fun and I think it highlights the importance of enjoying yourself as a keeper. We all love to play in the mud. Look at these dives. Doing this correctly and in a fun environment boosts your confidence and also they look spectacular. Next up, we have a drill to get you used to a crowded penalty area. All too often as goalkeepers, opposition and even teammates obstruct our view and our path. It's important to practice dealing with this because in a training situation, it's often a controlled drill with little distraction. Come game day, it's a more hostile environment. This is an important drill focusing on something that's often overlooked. And finally, we have some fun handling drills to practice our hand-eye coordination, anticipation, and ball control. Although the focus is on your hands this time around, notice that the keepers are on the balls of their feet, bouncing and ready to move in any direction. I think a lesson we can take from this series of drills is that footwork is a very big part of goalkeeping. So guys, comment below, let me know if you have found these useful and if you're going to work some of these drills into your training session. Subscribe for more. There'll be futsal specific drills as well as 11 aside drills for you to learn from. 
More importantly though, and not to go overlooked, go and find Jackie on Instagram. Follow her for more fantastic content. Safe hands guys, and see you soon.